Ustad Nishan Khan Sahib, it's a pleasure to have you here at the Thank conference. Thank you so much. Thank you. You bring a very uh, refreshing and different perspective to a conference that is full of technology and entrepreneurship and Silicon Valley. But we need people like you to come, you know, mesmerize and inspire us in a different way. Uh, essentially, music has been a fundamental part of our ethos, of our culture. Uh, you come from the Itawa Gharana. Uh, so music is you know, predominant there. Um, wanted to ask you, you know, when you come to conferences like this, where there are you know, very successful entrepreneurs, technology, uh, where do you see you know, the absorption of you know, the kind of entertainment you bring? to this audience? That's a great question and th first of all thank you so much for having me here uh, and I'm very grateful to come and play in this con convention. I've always, uh, I've always loved the IIT because IIT, when I was 16 years old I played my first concert for the IIT in Kharagpur okay. and uh, IIT is, is a huge, 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 uh, it's an institution, so called, in it's a huge institution in India in, in that sense and has done so much for India uh, in so many different ways. Um, one of the good things that the IIT has done for many, many years to, is to bring culture to their institution. So when the students were studying engineering or technology, whatever it was, they were also getting to uh, get a part of their culture, you know, uh, get a part of their, where their heritage, who they are and what it is. And uh, so to be associated in this way and playing for the IIT and the IITians, uh, it's, it's always a pleasure because, see, culturally it's very important for us to know who we are, no matter where we go and what we do in our lives and what sort of heights we reach technologically. Uh, but it, it, you, you make a different sort of human being when you are associated to culture. So culture does bring that very uh, spiritual dimension in our lives. So that way I'm very grateful that uh, IIT has kept that alive and that I was invited here to come and play uh, in this occasion. I was very happy to do classical Indian music um, um, because, you know, in a sense, first of all, we are all Indians and we have a very specific culture, no matter what we deal with, like I said, no matter what area of technology we deal with, but we are first, uh, as people, we are culturally very inclined to who we are. So, we have seen the stories in the childhood that the Krishna Bhagavan gave us a chant in the mind of the mind. So, we have classical Indian compositions. We have different kinds of compositions, mythologically. You know, then they have to do with our arts of the Guru, Shishya Parampara. You know, so those are the connections that we have with art. And then to bring that in the different spheres of our lives, in learning, is a is a wonderful thing. So that way, that is my connection to IIT. To go about in a in a roundabout way with with your answers. Yeah. Uh, as a musician uh, from the Gharana, there's a lot of effort that goes right from childhood. Right. Uh, you mentioned uh, Guru Shishya. I think uh, uh, no other you know profession professes this so much intricately and better than the, the music gharana. Right. Uh, the respect, uh, you know, the, uh, you learn literally at the feet of the masters. Right. If you look at the tradition and move on, how important do you think that has been? Because that connect is not broken even today. In yeah, India. that's true. That's so true. That continues that. Yeah. You see, Indian music is very specific, particular kind of music. And because, again, it has to do, it's so seeped in through the culture of India, that music, uh, therefore, in a many ways, we, we established a certain way of, of learning. And the learning was this Guru Shishya Parampara, where you learned in very close quarters with your, with your teachers. So you not only learn the music, but you also learn a way of life. Your guru becomes like the leader, the, the path, uh, sure of your path in life. And uh, it leads you through music, but also through life. And that is the way we learn music. And the music has many different secrets. It's not just like learning rags or, you know, learning uh, in like a rag, like a song or ye composition. It's, it's also there are many different secrets that have to do with the intricate qualities of our culture. You know, and you learn through that music, you learn through your teachers, and uh, you, you learn through practice. So you're practicing as well, and through the practice you gain the experience, and so the, through that experience you become who you are. So in, in our music, we mature after we are 50. 
although we can be geniuses, we can be, you know, at 17, you're playing fantastic sitar like I did. I was playing amazing sitar when I was 16, 17 years old. But I, I you know, my grandmother used to say, Are beta aisa nahi hua. You haven't done it the way, you know, your father did it or your uncle. And I completely understand that because time has something that time shows some some sort of value in your experience and how you expose yourself to the world and that is an element that you learn through the culture what you do and what many people like you do is the basic crux of indian music mm -hmm. the fundamentals of music then you have on the other extreme bollywood uh, you know which is very consumer driven yeah. how do you think the classical music could be you know, taken to mainstream. So more, more consumption. That's, that's a very good question. And uh, you, you see, my entire life I've been dedicating to the, to the idea of bringing classical music to the masses. Now, I have done Bollywood music also. I mean, I did a mu movie with Sudhir Mishra, uh, Ye Sali Zindagi, and I did all the songs in there, all the Bollywood music. And, and Bollywood music is beautiful. Uh, it, it has its own place. And it, the father of Bollywood music, the mother, is, is obviously the Shastri Sangeet, the classical music of India but I think we are now concentrating so much on that part of the music and we think in a lot of places people think Bollywood music is Indian music it is not Indian classical music it is not Indian music it, it is the film music which comes from the genre of our music that has influenced Bollywood music and hence Bollywood music became the way it has become a, a, a thing of its own but I think that uh, we, we have to really understand the aspect that we need to have emphasis, like for example, your institution is doing so much for this. And the, again, I'm very grateful that you are doing that. That's why I wanted to bring this show to, to, bring, to the, bring sitar to the IITs, because they want to listen to the real music, you know, uh, the, the real classical Indian music. If I had to do a collaborative element, I would go somewhere else and, you know, play this kind of thing. And it's not something so seriously one does. You know, uh, coming back to your question, I think it's very important. We we need to have more emphasis. The government needs to do that. The the society in its on its whole needs to uplift our music and bring them to the masses. Uh, it has not. It's not going to be only happening by the artist. It has to be. It has to be a collective uh, uh, effort by the community itself. I think like uh, the Western people have done. I mean, they have the, the orchestras are there, and they they have they they pay their orchestras, they support their orchestras, companies support orchestras, so they they are able to to go uh, you know sustain these very big uh, compositions and their concerts, and they are giving concerts halls. So there is whole support system that supports classical Western music. Why can't and why don't we do that in our culture? I it it really baffles me that that it's not happening. In this I think way. collectively should work towards that. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's again our pleasure to have you here. Thank and you. Thank you for the opportunity. That's lovely. Very nice meeting you.